Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. For today's first invention, we'll need some mints for our onion breath from the taquitos we just ate. Open the Tic Tac container with a box cutter. Don't worry, I didn't need all the mints. I put them aside since we'll need them later. I don't even need that many to stop my mouth from smelling bad, not to mention that you might upset your stomach if you eat all of them. Has anyone here tried it? As you can see, we'll also need quite a few matches. Good thing they're so cheap. I recently went on a weekend trip to the forest and bought 400 of them for $12. A real bargain. We'll have to find a few colorful candles that you can take from your school's Halloween decorations. How bad can one detention be? Take a few mints from a few moments ago and grind them mercilessly with Mr. Hammer. Next, mix them with the other ingredients. One stir here and one stir there. Once they're well mixed, pour them into the Tic Tac container using a sheet of paper. With our container well loaded, pierce the lid with any sharp tool you have. The activation system for our smoking device will enter through this hole, but first we'll need to create it, and for that, we'll need a straw to cut to the necessary size. To make it more rigid, use a wooden stick. Insert it into the straw and get rid of the excess. Find a short wick at the corner store and insert it into the straw next to the wooden stick. Apply glue between the wood and the wick to make sure everything stays in place. Cut one more match head which we'll press in with the other elements. You can probably imagine how the match works next to the wick, but we'll have to activate it somehow. And since doing it with a lighter would be too boring, let's create a ring of activation system with this scraper. After folding it the way you see in the video, look for the keys to your office and remove the ring. We hope you don't lose them. Actually, I'd better put them somewhere safe so that I don't lose mine. Apply some of the super glue to secure the scraper to the ring. Put the ignition straw inside the opening of the scraper and with one of these small rubber bands like the ones used for kids' ponytails, Close the end of the scraper to generate pressure on the wick. This way it will not come out and the match will be easily ignited. Insert the complete activation system through the hole in the lid and close it to complete our professional ninja smoke device. The truth is that I think this is so simple to use that this clip will be enough instruction. What do you say? Shall we go out and try it? Everyone take cover! With this thin smoke, we can escape from our girlfriend when she's angry, or send smoke signals to our friends to let them know where to meet. We could implement it perfectly. Cell phones are out of fashion. What's in trend today is vintage, or in this case, Neanderthal. Ooga ooga, tomorrow meeting we have. Or something like that. What? I bet you it would be fun. The following invention will give all lovers of oral cleaning what they're looking for. To start off with, find a small remote control car motor. This little motor will be the most important part. And as always, when one of these is present in my inventions, it's because we'll need an electrical circuit. In addition to the switch, we'll need some loose wires and the famous snap wires for the battery. First, connect the red wire from the snap to one of the switch pins by bending the copper wire and twisting it several times. Do the same thing with a loose piece of wire on another pin. The missing connections are pretty obvious, and we've done them over and over and over again on this channel, so it'd be pretty boring to repeat them. So it's a good excuse to talk and to get to know each other better. Kind of like a first date. I know. Tell me about your worst romantic experience. What is the worst way you've had your little hearts trampled on? While you open up those old wounds, let's connect the battery to the electrical system and do our routine quality test. Get a few nuts that you can buy at one of the thousands of hardware stores in your city, or if you live in a small town, you can take some out of some chairs. With a little bit of hot glue, we'll glue one of the nuts to the motor pivot. Look how it spins and spins and spins and spins! I'm already dizzy!
But the main and most important thing is that you observe how the vibration makes the motor move. That's what this invention is all about. Take your toothbrush from the bathroom. Don't ask why mine is pink. Apply a little boiling silicone on the back of the toothbrush and immediately attach the small vibrating motor to it. Just underneath, add more glue to the battery so that it doesn't hang. Many people have told me they don't like that I glue the battery down because if it runs out, you won't be able to change it. For Pete's sake, we glue it with hot glue, not with crazy glue. It's easy to peel off. Well, anyway, without further ado, I present you the automatic dental cleaner. Get over here, you evil contraption. When I was a kid, I always wanted to buy one, but my mother always said, why? It's no different than a normal one. I think I'm going to stick to telling my stories this way. <laughs> it's pretty funny. With my new toothbrush, I won't have to move my hand at all, and my teeth will be pearly white. That's good, since because I took off my braces by myself at the age of 14, my teeth get dirty very easily. I think they told me it was because along with the braces, I pulled off the natural enamel of my teeth. I was fed up with not being able to eat hard things, and you can wash it the same way you always do. Just don't get the battery wet unless you want to experience what a few volts feel like coursing through your body. Always remember to brush your teeth. The next invention revolves entirely around these three pencils, which will turn you into a Picasso or maybe Van Gogh or the artist you admire most. Place one pencil on top of the other in a crisscross and fasten them by twisting a rubber band around them several times. Be careful not to force it too much or it will break. Do the same thing with the remaining pencil on the opposite side. I always liked to draw. I started by tracing drawings. Then I started copying them and nowadays I think I have a good level. But everything would have been easier if I would have had this invention back then. And now we're done with this invention. Quick, wasn't it? I think it took about 30 seconds. It might be a Guinness World Record. To test it, let's use this cute kitten. With this invention, you'll be able to trace the basic form of any illustration for your homework, art class, or just for fun. You simply have to place one of the tips on the outline of the image and the other pencil on the sheet to trace the shape. Very simple, isn't it? Now the covers of your notebooks will be beautiful. For the last invention of the day, we will need as many Mentos as your wallet will allow. I bought so many that I think I will eat pure ramen this week. Does someone want to invite me to eat at their house? Imagine what will happen with these 3,000 Mentos. Chernobyl won't even compare. Once we've obtained a considerable amount of these candies, begin by drawing a circle as large as the compass can open. By the way, did you notice how cool the video looks with this editing technique? If I remember correctly, it's called pixelation and it's a variant of stop motion. Just a fun fact if you're interested. You have to build a little mountain with the Mentos along the circumference of the circle by stacking one on top of the other like the Egyptians did with their famous pyramids, only they were carrying stones. With our own Mount Vesuvius ready, 70% of this experiment will be done. Find a water bottle and cut the upper part with a pair of scissors. Remove the cap from the part you just cut off and insert the top head part into the bottom part. Cut off the excess plastic that gets in the way and cover the edge with tape to finish creating our homemade funnel. Are you ready for action? Put a few more Mentos inside the funnel and get ready for the show. I've seen videos where they fill entire pools with these mints. It makes a real mess, but I still want to do it. I just need a pool. Would anyone like to lend me theirs? Once we have a few Mentos inside the bottle, move it into the opening of our volcano and delicately throw a bottle of Coca-Cola into it. Not even two seconds passed before it was projected into space. It looks like it's raining. If all the raindrops were Coca-Cola, oh, what a rain it would be. The container was even found to fall about eight meters from where I'm standing. Let's look at it from a different angle so you can see how I ran for my life as soon as I poured the soda. How does it fly out with such force? Any chemist among us who can explain it to me? Let's zoom in a little bit to appreciate it better. This time, even the mountain of Mentos was broken into pieces. Can anyone see where the container is? My poor experiment. Let's see how it turned out. There are Mentos all over the place, on the floor and on the table, pieces of what once was. Ugh, it's sticky. Well, that's the way it is. Besides, I guessed it would end up like this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, little grasshoppers.
Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.